we have patient sent for carotid duplex study as usual we'll start our scanning by mid cca distal cca we will measure the intimate media thickness then we'll document some velocity and check the potency of the common carotid artery at mid and distal and actually this velocity big systolic velocity and in diastolic velocity it is very important whenever we have stenosis at the internal carotid artery now we move distal and also we'll document some velocity and we will scan the external carotid artery and here we use temporal tabbing maneuver as we tabbing over the temporal artery we can see the change over the wave here and this it will help us to distinguish between the ACA and the ICA now we move to the internal carotid artery and we can see here we have a meters plaque from origin extend to the proximal internal carotid artery and also by color we can see that we have aliasing now we have to be accurate to calculate the degree of this stenosis and usually we use NACID so we compare the velocity and actually we look for the maximum velocity so we have to put our cursor at the most narrow area and it will be where we have the aliasing and compare this velocity to the velocity at the common carotid artery and we'll calculate the ratio so here we have the peak systolic velocity extremely high it was 546 and whenever the velocity is greater than 230 and also the end diastolic velocity is greater than 100 it means that this stenosis it will lie between 70 to 99 degree and also we'll calculate the ratio between the ICA to the common carotid artery and whenever the ratio is greater than 4 it means we are dealing with stenosis lie between 70 to 99 actually in the past and even till now some of us they still using the diameter reduction and area reduction and this it will not be accurate to calculate the percentage of the stenosis now as we move this cell at the internal carotid artery we can see that how the wave shape is changed and the velocity is very low it is 23 it means that we have stenosis at the internal carotid artery lie between 70 to 99 and it is almost toward the 99